Okay, okay. Charity one history add item. Okay. Positive case. Okay. What is this Kero uh, practice login button? Uh, that's not a button, right? Practice login is not a button. Oh, it's, yeah, it yeah. It's, it's not a button. link, right? Yeah, yeah, click it, click on it. So it's not a button; it's a link. So you, you still click on the link. Okay, okay. note it down somewhere. No, don't correct it now. Okay. Uh, menu patients. Okay, the new password is the same. Uh, page displayed menu patients. Home page displayed menu patients. Okay, history. Uh, page displayed. Boost. Um, um, okay, click on the thing. Save. Click on the save button. Um, saved. Log out. What is your post condition? A new animal is added to the patient's history. Perfect the precondition. Uh, should be the database. Uh, user ID should be valid. Ah, that's not dependency. Uh, valid user ID? Yeah, that's not a dependency, right? That's a precondition. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, okay so that should come in your precondition. Yeah, I thought, well, I, I totally did not read dependency. Uh, you put it as the next line. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good uh, Good work. Show me a negative test case. Mm. Negative. Custom. I did the custom functionality. This is positive. And this is negative. Okay, for what, so which one? The is? same thing because I did not see de dependency, so it will be in the second line. Ah, that's okay. Uh, Add a medical custom item. Um, leave the name text blank. Click on the save button. Um, please correct the following error name blank appears. Click the cancel button. Perfect. Also negative. Then I have problem, the functionality three problem. Mm -hmm. Then I have one positive and then you want me to show positive or? No, negative uh, problem. I'll see the one which is displayed there. Stop there. Stop there. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, so this is positive, activate, or oh, negative. Oh. Here, test case 7 is negative. You put, I feel the both are the same. No. Go up. Test case 6 and 7, show me test case 6 and 7. Go up, test case 6, here. Miraj, what is this? Migraine. Migraine. Uh, yeah, okay. this was the question I wanted to ask you. Because as soon as I put migraine, it... Mm -hmm. Short ICD-10 alert box is displayed. Uh -huh. So when I press yes and save, then it goes and uh, migraine is shown in the um, problem list page. Mm -hmm. But if I say cancel, that's why I put the other one, it doesn't show. So yeah, cancel, it should not show. That means you are not adding anything. Yes. So it should not show. Yeah, so I wasn't sure because ICD-10, it had conditions which sometimes came automatically and sometimes you had to choose. Ah. So which is why I was like, uh, I will ask this question from you. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's correct. Okay. And then I have, um, you, you go through and, I don't know if it's, I'm doing the right way because I go to the website and then I, I write it down in notebook and then I write it down here. So no, that happens. Uh, initially, everyone does that, and then uh, you keep practicing. <clears throat> That's when you start writing uh, directly and, and all those things. So it's okay. It's okay. That's uh, but at, at a certain point, you will you will feel that you know you are duplicating the same stuff. Yeah. At that time, you will stop it. Okay. Yeah. And then I have this is a negative. Yeah, this is a negative case for add a problem. Mm -hmm. So I left the problem blank, and this appeared. Okay, so next thing, what you do, <coughs> the specific error message, right? Yes. Try to put it in bold. Bold, okay. Yeah, so that, you know, you know that's the error message. Otherwise, you've got to search for the error message inside that statement. Yes, yes. I think I, it's, I'm pretty good in this. It means I'm getting there. Getting there? No, you, you got there. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's, it's a pretty good job that you did. Okay, thank you. Yeah, welcome. Give me one second. Yeah, oh, that, and that some of, yeah. yeah, some of the test cases, most of them, like the repetition ones, I did not uh, uh, mention it because, you know, if you are checking for the same error in everywhere, 
it's not like a valid one right so no, i no yeah. if it, if you have the same type in a different functionality uh -huh. right mm -hmm. you have to write your test cases how you can assume you can assume right there yeah, is no not in it. okay yeah. wait let's hold on let's let's see what all the test cases and then we will take ha uh, just uh, for uh, for uh, just give me the headings Okay, first is. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. My pen. Validation positive. Hold on. Let me write it down. One. One is. Add. Medical, medical. validation. Validation. No, first let's go with uh, in the order wise in which we spoke. So first is history. Patient history. Yeah. So I have one uh, validation. Uh, let me let me share my screen. Okay, go ahead. First history. What is it? History in one. Okay, I like me. Ah, oh, go ahead. Yeah, your yeah, patient history. Uh, first is positive. Positive cases. What? Yes. Yeah. And then second functionality custom item. Okay. I have one positive. Custom item. Item. You have how many test cases in this? One positive. One positive. One. Two. two negative. So two negative in the sense one you left the custom blank and the other one is cancel. Uh, one blank and yeah. other one hearing aids. Like if you have the same and you're typing, then it says uh, please correct the following error. There is already an item with the same name appears. Okay, that's a correct one. Okay, so custom item blank. This is blank. No, no, this is not. No, no, this is generic, right? You are entering custom item. Yeah. This is positive. Positive. Then custom. Custom item blank. Okay. Three years. Four years. Custom item. Custom item. Uh, repeat the uh, repetitive, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's four. Then five. Anything on the history? uh no that's it okay yes, so then the then next the next is hearing it the problem uh problem i have one one positive okay what is the problem right. the, the, that's just adding problem right yes adding problem and then problem activate okay 3 4 6 is activate that's positive right yes positive uh huh and then i have negative okay what is it i activate so the icd 10 alert box is this okay place. activate negative okay and then five add a problem add a problem again positive yeah because it was um it is Yeah, add a problem. Positive. Add a medical condition. No, you already said add a problem. Positive, right? Oh, sorry. Just. Oh. Wait a minute. I copied the same test case ten times. Oh uh, no 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 no. It comes from twenty six to sixteen now. Okay. No. Next. <laughs> okay. No. no. This is a problem. Activate and then functionality five. What was the problem? Add a problem, enter date, and comment. Yeah, that was the. Shall I move on to the next? Yeah. Okay. Then I have functionality. You. Oh, I am going back again and again. Add a problem, and then I have a negative case. Test nine is a negative case. Test uh, eight. Like yeah. the head injury, so I left the. Problem issue blank. Okay. It's a negative case. Problem blank. Okay, so it's a negative case. Okay. Then I have one more negative case in which I, uh, it says um, uh, date should be valid because I did the future date. 
problem date. So that's again negative. Okay. Yes, and then I have one more negative in this, uh, which is uh, head injury. Because head injury again, it says duplicate to a prob uh, to a problem list issue appears. But that's the same we validated. Uh, but that was in the custom history, right? Yeah. yeah. This was for this okay. This okay. Was okay. Negative. Okay. Repeat, right? Yeah. Okay. And then right. functionality six: save and enter another. Okay. So I did this one. This is positive. Okay. So I added two pro problems: for head injury and pregnancy, and it took both. And save problem, right? In problem only. Uh, you save and uh, yes, in problem only. Problem save and add another. Okay. Yes. Then next one. And then I have a negative case in this. I left it uh, uh, the problem. Uh, ICD-10 blank. It won't go unless and until we add something in that. Okay, PROBLEM problem. What is this? ICD. Yeah, ICD-10. Blank. So that's again a negative case. Okay. And then ICD-10. Oh. Oh, this I cop. I think I cop. This is. Uh, this is double. I can see. Oh. This is double. So I have okay. a minus 25 now. So um, the, this is my target. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you have come down to 25. Okay. Yeah. And now now my target is 9 to go. Okay. <laughs> functionality 8, medication, add new one. Functionality what? What is the functionality? Uh, medication. Okay. 13 is what? Uh, it's positive case, so I added uh, okay. alternative medicine and then probiotic and this one. So okay. it takes and positive. positive. Uh, medication was added. Mm -hmm. And then it's a negative case. If I um, if I type like random, A, B, C, D, whatever, so it drug is not in the database and then it, it says um, it doesn't take it. That's not a data. Do you get any error message? It, no, it doesn't. No, see, no, it doesn't know, take it, but there is no no. Drug not in the database. Does it throw an error message? Drug not in the database. Yes, correct. On the top, the text box on the top in red color. Okay, fine. So then it's a tip. Okay. Yeah. But, but here also I have a question, Rajesh, because uh, then it also shows like that case 17 because I did write and it says drug not in the database, but then I press save and close button and it went. And then added the same thing to the medication list. But uh, since there is no drug, but still it added the drug. Yes. Ah, that's because uh, might be in the database that list is not there. It might be a new drug, so it's accepting it. Okay. So I wasn't sure if it's a negative case or a positive. So. <sighs> Good question. Uh, we that has to be decided by. Uh, by uh, what do you say, uh, the development team to take it as a negative case or a positive case because when you type it, it shows an error message, right? Yeah. So let me take it as a positive because it's accepting it, right? We'll take it as a positive. Okay. okay. Next one. Yeah. And then I have marked as error. Okay. Uh, this is a positive case and then mark an error. This is a negative case because if I leave blank, it says no medica medication selected. Warning appears. And then functionality, I'll restore mark as error. So this is positive. It was restored. And then functionality 11 was enter immunization. So I entered tetanus. And it took. That is the next functionality, right? Like immunization. 11, yes. Yeah, yeah. Please tell me if it's a next time functionality, okay. okay. Sorry. Okay, immunization. So I have this positive test case. I entered vaccine tetanus and it took. That's positive, okay. And then the, the 20 test case 20 second is a negative test case because I left the type blank because when I type tetanus, Automatically, it gives us a drop-down drop menu in which we have to select. Correct. But if 
there's a blank also. If you leave it blank, then it won't check. It appears, please correct the following error. Vaccine type cannot be blank. Okay, that's again a drug negative case, okay. And then I have one more negative. If I, um, a future date. Okay, negative, okay. Then I have one more negative. Time. Because if by, if I'm writing 6.30 p.m., it says the format should be this. Um, H-H-M-M. AM PM format. Okay. And I have one more test case, yes. Provider. If I don't say Sharma Clinic provided it and leave it blank, then it won't go. Okay. And now then I, I, I somehow I have functionality 12, edit a vaccine record. What is that vaccine record? That we had to um, no. Okay, I got it. Uh, edit a vaccine record. Yeah, this is uh, editing a vaccine validation. That we had to uh, add a comment because in the before, if you see, it's a positive test case. It was only provide given by the nurse. So it was that you said uh, go back to the comment and change comment. Correct, so correct. I wrote by nurse in the hand. Okay, so where, it comes under immunization? Yes, it's um, immunization and I think it was, you said edit a vaccine record, like select a, any vaccine immunization page, click, change the comment okay. and say. Okay, got it. That's it. That's it? So it's coming only 23? 23. 23? 24. No, 23. One, I cancelled it, so 23. Okay. One was not a thing, so I brought it down from 26 to 24. 23 now. How do I bring it, uh, do I bring it to 16 now? Nah, no, you can. Oh, oh. <laughs> I worked so hard, you should not. <laughs> no, that's the target, right? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> looks good. Great job. Uh, great job. Thank you. And should I close it? Then I will see your desktop because I don't know how to bring it back. No, you don't need. I am already sharing my desktop. You can take it off. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, cool.